Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Jetta SEL. This particular one is pyrite silver metallic on the exterior with Titan black leather on the interior. It features LED running lights, LED tail lights, LED reverse lights, the new larger grille on the front, the bowl line down the side that's been around since 2019, new machine finish, black and silver wheels, the new Volkswagen logo on the back, Jetta font right here, the new Jetta font here, and SE off to the right side there. A little bit of chrome around these, uh, they're designed to look like exhaust tips here, but they're not they're really exhaust tips, they're just kind of bumper flare. Uh, they're trimmed out in chrome down below. Keyless entry on two doors. Panoramic sunroof as well. That nice bowl line down the side catches the door handle right there into the wheel arch. It still says SEL right here on the corner. This is the top of the line version of the Jetta now. Outside of the GLI. And this just came off the truck, so it's got a little bit of glue and a little bit of dust and dirt on it. Uh, but I want to make a video of it before it was sold, or it actually is sold before it's gone. Here's a look at the contrast stitch and the door inset here. Also the arm pad right here does have a contrast stitch on it right there silver window tips right here or window switch tips and then you also have your heated mirrors and power mirrors there your uh, fuel door release and trunk release are right here you have memory seats three seat memory here lumbar support is power power forward and back and seat back adjust here these are leather seats these seats would normally be ventilated they are not due to the chip shortage there's a chip there's a uh, a ventilated seat delete on this car most of the top of the line cars with the ventilated seats, that's what they're deleting off of them. It's the only thing that's deleted. As we look at the seat here, it's got that same upholstered pattern, just like the GLI, uh, but it's pure black leather, not a hint of red in it like the GLI. But you do have a contrast stitch, a double one right here down the side bolster. This goes up the side, continues behind the shoulders here. And then you also have a single contrast stitch up here in the adjustable headrest here. It's manually adjusted here. The arm pad is also trimmed out with a contrast stitch right there. That'll also have that little kickstand where you can adjust the, the height of that armrest. Here's a look at the seats here before we climb in. There's my sold sign right there. And as we climb into this guy, not, not a lot has changed here. The big change is they went to a 1.5 liter engine instead of the 1.4. So now instead of a 1.4 liter Jetta, you can get a 1.5, same as the Taos. Uh, the fuel economy is right at 40 still. The steering wheel here has the flat silver finish on the spokes here and then the splash of piano black down here at the base. It's a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel. It's also a heated steering wheel so you have that icon right there. Automatic headlights are still there over here and you can catch a hint of the ambient lighting right here. You have 15 color ambient light display. Um, actually it may be 10. Uh, we'll take a look at that. There's a look at your instrument cluster there. There's your dial screen. There is the widescreen and there is the crop screen and you can edit these and change them out. Your fuel gauge is right over here to the right. Temperature gauge over here to the left, the gear down here at the base and the speedometer right there. Uh, this one has 20 miles to empty here. But this telescoping wheel I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it. Um, over here I have my adaptive cruise control and cruise control button here. A little tip here, if you see an odometer right there, then your cruise control is off. If I hit the button here, that odometer disappears and this icon pops up instead. So my adaptive cruise control is on, but it's not set and active. So I can hit the plus or minus to change the speed there. Notice it's going to 20, 21, I can touch and hold, and it goes up by five mile an hour increments. Also, if I change this display to where I have the dials and push that button and hold it, you can see an arrow moving up, up here to the set speed that I'm going to on the, the cruise control. Also, following distance is right here in the middle. I can adjust this here and those little icons right there, those lines move accordingly. Kind of hard to see all of that. Uh, and then you also have resume and set, of course, for your, speed, or for your speed. And then you also have travel assist here. Since I'm in park, that's not gonna work here, but travel assist is gonna kick in lane assist and keep me centered. Uh, and then I have volume control for the stereo right here, up and down. Over here on this side, this is my song skip and preset skip. The heated steering wheel button is right there. And then here's my folders, so I can actually change what's displayed behind the dials there. So there's my assist systems. There's driving data. 
there is vehicle status, telephone, audio, and then of course navigation. And I'm gonna go back to the widescreen. Just by hitting the view button, I can do that. There we go. Over here on the radio, it's AM, FM, and satellite. It also has gesture control. So anytime you see that hand there, you can wave it around. I'm gonna move. Actually, I'm not gonna do anything with navigation. So I'm gonna do the radio here. There's my radio, there's the hand. I can wave my hand in front of it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's doing a whoosh, a whoosh sound there too. Pretty cool. It's kind of like the uh, Jedi mind trick. Trick. Can't talk today. Um, backup camera is pretty awesome too. Put it in reverse right there. There's your HD camera. Does not have trajectory steering. Um, I kind of wish they would do that in the Jetta, Jetta SEO, but you know what? I'm sure with chip shortages and things like that, it's the last thing on their mind. Um, I can turn the wheel left or right, nothing happens there. The green line just signifies straight back. The red line signifies where the bumper is. I do also have App Connect, which allows me to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink on this system wirelessly. I don't have to plug in for that. But if I do want to keep it old school and plug in, I've got two USB-Cs right here I can plug into. That's not really old school, but you plug in to your phone there if you don't have wireless capabilities also wireless charging right here most phones will charge in the case with that right there push button starts right here electronic parking brake you just lift up on to activate put your foot on the brake and push down to release sorry about that guys i yawned <laughs> it's one take on camera your auto start stop shut off is right there and your driving modes are right here so you've got eco normal sport and custom custom allows me to adjust the steering between normal and sport, the drivetrain between normal, sport, and eco, adaptive cruise control, comfort, normal, sport, and eco, the climate control is normal or eco, so I can do all that. Um, and I'm just gonna turn the mode back off here and put it back on normal. Um, then I do also have over here a 12 volt charger port. The shifter is backlit right there. You can see that the P is lit up on top. That's the new shifter that started with the Taos. It continued in the Tiguan and the Jetta. Speaking of Tiguan and a Jetta, or Taos and a Jetta, the vents are down here below the stereo. The stereo is up high. So the vents do this little skip from up here down to here. They're below the radio, and the radio's angled towards the driver. That's pretty smart there. And then you also have that vent up there as well. The auto dimming mirror for this one, this is just a regular auto dimming mirror. It doesn't have home link or anything like that. Um, it does have an edge to it, but you can get the auto dimming mirror, I'm sure, with these. Uh, it's just right now there's short supply um, the vanity mirror with an incandescent bulb for the light above you have that on both sides and then you do have car net your info button the wrench button and SOS button right here sunglass storage right there so you can store a pair of sunglasses up there um, and then there's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof with the pop-up windscreen right there um, the panoramic sunroof is what makes this car an all-star um, the seats are heated we come back to that there there's heated seats on both driver and passenger and it's a dual zone climate zone and it's three phase um, and then I also have a menu button where I can bring up the touch screen right here and I can adjust my fan speed right here on screen and then also adjust my temperature on screen here too. turn on the sink turn it off whichever um, and then um, I can also um, adjust ambient lighting so if I go to settings under the car setting here go to ambient lighting change from automatic to manual now there's my 10 color yep it's 10 color ambient light display here so I can change what's displayed in here and that's going to change the highlights up here at the top also the over here you can see the light blue here and also you can see the light blue here it does go into the door panel too and over here to this side too it's just dark enough where you can see it a little bit there get a hint of it and um, of course if you go back to auto then it's going to just default between red white and blue uh, let's change it to pink see what we get here there's your pink pink up there pink over here as well in the glove box here there's your manuals right there Be below that there's your tire warranties and what have you in that little ziploc bag right there the passenger seat here as i've moved the sold sign here is also heated uh, normally these seats would be ventilated as I said before uh, but there is a uh, chip shortage so they've they've uh, deleted those the seat is manual there's the loop to slide it forward and back right there over here on the side if it shows up you do not have a handle to raise or lower the seat but you can move the seat back adjustment there so let's take a look 
oh here's a look at the armrest there is a USB-C in here so you have three USB-C's up front one in here in the armrest and two right here um, and there's the little kickstand right there that allows these to be adjusted upwards cup holders do that stadium seating set up there i like that because if you had two like size cups here then now the lids aren't fighting each other and popping each other off while you're driving especially if you're on a bumpy road and have stuff spilling out and then you have co storage for coins right there let's take a look at the back seat this one comes in at 29 265 extras on this one are going to include 275 for the monster mats and there's a 200 dollars credit for uh, the front ventilation or ventilated seats. 1095 for that destination charge. So 29265. Let's open the back seat here. There's a look at the door inset here. It's the, the plastic here all the way up. Uh, you do have a bit of leatherette right here on the arm pad. The rest of it's plastic. And then there's the silver tips on the windows and switches there. The seats back here in the back are also leather. It's a climb in here. No magazine pocket on the seat here. Here's a look up at the front from the instrument cluster there, the center console armrest shifter, and you can see the ambient light a little bit right there. Beautiful sunset going on over there, about over. Um, the seat here, manual headrest here, power adjustments uh, on the rest of the seat here. There are no vents here uh, in the Jetta at all uh, in any trim, so they're under the seats down below. And you can also feel the air coming from up front right there from the two lower vents there. Two heated seats back here in the back they start on high then medium then low then off just like they have magazine pocket over here on this side as well and let's see if i can get some light on this here there's a look at your seat right there they, as i said they are heated there's your car seat hookups there fixed headrests at the top on the two outboard seats the armrest squishy yet firm right here adjustable in the middle there's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof Let's take a look at the trunk. This new wheel pattern, I, I really like it. It's machine black and silver here. So this is actually a solid color. The reason there's so much solid on these wheels is it helps with the fuel economy. So it looks like there's openings here, but they're actually solid. They're machine silver and black. Very nice though. On the back here, the only thing this would need is a bumper dillo. to protect that trunk lid or the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the bumper top here. Here's a look at the uh, cargo blocks right here, the rubber mats here, and then also your um, complimentary um, USB adapter right here. This one does come with a spare and a subwoofer underneath the floor down here. If we lift this up here, there's your subwoofer. It's Beats Audio, it's quick release, and then their jack right there, all set inside that spare tire there. Seat pulls on both sides here where these seats will fold flat right here and here. And you do have a handhold right here and also right here. This car will come with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000-mile oil change are going to be covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10-year, a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call. We can order it. It will probably be a 2023 but uh, we can order cars. We order a lot of cars. So if you're interested in one, give me a call. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.